video, and uh, they're very cheeky over here on JP Dokkan. For some reason, they decided to hold on to the April Fool's Day event until the 9th this year. I don't understand. Uh, the 9th also being the day that the World Tournament started, so it's been very difficult to even find time to start this event, right? And obviously, it's going on well past when the World Tournament is going to be on, but hello, I'm a content creator, Dokkan. I'd like to get the a video on the event and stuff up quick sheesh so a um, little bit late on this one because i wanted to make sure my position in world tournament was secure i only really care about getting top 2000 in the world tournament and like you know and i'm confident that like i'm pretty much gonna hit that no matter what now so um all right there's not <clears throat> really a lot to this event honestly it's literally just one stage you grind up great saiyan man uh, and he do kind of wakens into the great salmon of Adele. Now, this unit is out currently on Global as well. On Global, like, they're fine, but the Defenders of Justice doesn't have, like, a proper leader. Uh, over here on GP, um, if you are utilizing uh, the Dokkan Fest Fidel and her Defenders of Justice team, this unit is actually pretty good um, on that team. As in, like, literally to the point where, like, running that team, I, I think a lot of times I really would not mind rocking this Fidel and Great Saiyan unit, right? Because, again... They give Defenders of Justice category allies three key and then 18% attack, defense, and crit chance. That's pretty good um, for a free-to-play unit. Like, I think this is a great design, honestly, for a free-to-play unit. Um, the Revenge category will give us increased drops as well. Um, and if we actually go ahead and jump over here, uh, we can take a look at the event details right here, right? So, again, we got the, the Great Saiyan Man, and then we have the um, the little training item, I guess, which you're going to get if you don't get Great Saiyan Man himself. Uh, we can get the medal there as well. And then there's also a number of missions here, just beating the stage, you know, getting their SA level up, rainbowing them. Uh, I do think rainbowing them definitely can be useful. They will be a, a solid free-to-play unit. I mean, mainly for the Defenders of Justice team, but there is a lot of free-to-play characters in the movie here on Joint Forces. Maybe... I don't know. You never know, right? Like, this unit could be a character that they want us to use for one of these uh, LR Prime Battle EZAs. Seems like right now the biggest usage of free-to-play units in Dokkan is that, right? Like, these sort of, like, Prime Battle um, EZAs, right? Like, we can't even do the event unless you have those characters and have them rainbowed. So my recommendation is grind up all the free-to-play units, get all their, their uh, paths open, you don't necessarily have to rainbow them until you're sure or you're going to use them, but definitely at least get their paths completely open and stuff like that. Um, and then again, this this character right here is actually a, a, you know a character that you definitely can use. So let's go ahead and hop in, um, and we will test out uh, the event. I, again, I think it's just the one stage right here, right? So there must be like two diverging paths you can take. One <clears throat> would allow us to get the uh, medal, and the other will allow us to actually get... Um, the uh, whatchamacallit that thing i guess since world tournament's going on and broly is part of the revenge category we'll just bring him whatever this is the team i built it's just a bunch of characters that i still need to link level i've talked about this a lot but like when doing like sort of story events and grinding like this i do sort of think bringing a bunch of like link level one characters is definitely a good way to go about this right because bringing a bunch of link level one characters you're going to get some easy uh link levels from doing these story events right you don't really need to go into the quest uh, to grind link levels until you start getting to, like, link level 5-ish. Like, once you start getting to that range, that's when, you know, you're, you're going to need some RNG factored in to actually get your link levels. Um, so this art for Frieza looks very good. I'm almost positive we're going to see that pop in, you know, to, you know, some new Frieza or something like that. I mean, they easily... The only problem... I, I really... It is such a shame the movie boss category, man. Um, is it's just only the main antagonist because like otherwise they can make a, a Frieza from that Janemba movie right and then you know we actually could have uh, had in like on the movie boss category and stuff like that but unless in, they're the main villain they're not actually on that category but I do love how Dokkan like so this Videl like celebration happens but they still are really pushing movies for both Global and JP right because this, like, uh, segment or sequence, this is from Fusion Reborn, the Gogeta movie, the Janemba and Gogeta movie, right? This is where Gohan one-shots Frieza, you know, the gates of hell are opened up, and, like, all these characters are brought back. Um, so, it's interesting. By the way, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold the phone. If you look, so there's Raccoon right there, then there's one of Turles' Destroyers of the Universe to his right. 
If you look in the middle right there, that's one of Garlic Jr.'s henchmen right there. That is the very first character six years deep into the game from the first Garlic Jr. movie. I was always previously asking for Garlic Jr. to get a banner unit like Lord Slug got. You know, he could sort of be... By the way, that Kui art is new as well. We certainly could get like an actual Kui card uh, at the bottom there. That looks like card art to me. But got that, you know, Garlic Jr., I was always asking him to be a banner unit like Slug. Now that Videl got a Dokkan Fest, I want Garlic Jr. to get a Dokkan Fest. See, oh, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. I surely do, right? But it's cool that we have our first Garlic Jr. in there. Um, so like I was saying, uh, Dokkan is doing a good job um, <laughs> of sort of keeping... Uh, like this movie theme going on even when they sort of do like the Videl Dokkan Fest and like you know Global is sort of like doing their own thing but like they're still like in the middle of the PyCon and Janemba celebration which is movie stuff right this whole like April Fool's Day thing correlates with the movies right here you know like the Videl and Great Saiyan card they are actually on the movie hero category right and then of course we had the EZA as well um you know for Tapion EGL Tapion's EZA shows up on Global and JP uh, or, excuse me, it's only on JP right now. But the Tapion EZA, what I meant to say is that he's on both movie heroes and movie bosses. He's on both of those categories, right? So he is a significant buff um, to Dokkan sort of pushing this movie theme, right? With one character, they're buffing both sides of basically the movie categories, right? So that's going to work out really good. Um, I do expect continued buffs uh, for movie stuff all the way until Worldwide Celebration. What's interesting is... I'm unsure for Worldwide Dental Celebration. Are we going to see Blue Gogeta and Dragon Ball Super Full po uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly Full Power, or are they gonna do Super Gogeta and Janemba? I, I, like I was thinking about that because like I really thought that the because we got STR Vegito. I thought that the Gogeta remake card was gonna be like really soon after that Vegito because they're sort of like a pair. Now, I'm kind of thinking, like, that's going to be the Worldwide Dental Celebration. Like, if we don't get that Gogeta soon, like in May or something like that, I really think that's what the Worldwide Dental Celebration is going to be. Is it's going to be, the, like, the three-year anniversary physical LR Gogeta, the remake of that unit, right? To match SDR Vegito. That's what I think we're going to get. Yeah, because, yeah, there he is right there. I mean, that artwork right there is from the three-year anniversary LR. And then at, down at the bottom right, that's obviously from the PyCon, uh unit super attack oh it freezes back <laughs> oh you bum ah <laughs> you bitch <laughs> goodbye frieza um but yeah right now that's sort of where i'm thinking is if we don't see dokkan fest lr gogeta before then i, I think he's going to be the, the main worldwide download celebration uh unit um I I either way though i'm pretty confident it is going to be a gogeta I'm seeing a lot of people are actually discussing the possibility of a Gogeta arriving sooner. Um, maybe even like part two. Oh, okay. The, 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 <laughs> all right. The new day just happened. Um, oh, you guys get to see. I think I'm about to hit day 1400, I think. I think is what we're about. Yep. 1391 currently. Um, so a lot of people are even wondering that like if LR Super Gogeta would be part two of this celebration. It's so weird and finicky, by the way. Like, one second people are like, oh my god, we get a Vegito and Gogeta every celebration. Then the next second they're wanting LR Gogeta. It's like, whoa, I always want Gogeta units, but now other people do this time as well? What the? So yeah, um, I don't think we're going to get an, like a, a legendary summon LR Gogeta. To me, it, it, number one, those characters are just like, like Gogeta himself is way too hype. Like, he's Dokkan Fest LR material, like, like, I would say, like, almost every time. At this point, like, we're gonna see, you know, like, the Vegitos and the Gogetas and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna see them, I think, during the major, major, major celebrations, right? Because they're big money makers. Alright, I love how Freeze had his little flash flashback there of Goku and, you know, uh, you know, the uh, future trunks. I love that. Um, Alright, well, anyway, we'll, we'll just disintegrate them. So, th this path right here, this is gonna go ahead and get us the medals. Um... After we finish this up, this fight against Goten and Trunks here, uh, I'll probably go ahead and, you know, just finish up the grind real fast. Um, we will rainbow the Great Saiyan Man and Videl. Um, I probably, I, I, I don't think, I'm not going to do a rainbow showcase for them. I'm just going to go ahead and knock out a uh, level 10 link showcase for them, I think, because they actually are, I think, a fairly solid unit that I might use on the Defender of Justice team. 
and it's like you know they'll I feel like their defensive stuff like levels and stuff like that will actually be pretty good against like extreme class enemies so like you know getting their link levels up you know they are gonna share courage at least with Fidel oh and infighter as well so they have a couple of links with like Dokkan Fest Fidel so I, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and level up that unit all the way um, the great salmon of Fidel obviously that's gonna take a little bit of time uh, it's just like LR Pickle everyone's like oh yes we're so excited for the LR Pickle level 10 link video. And it's like, okay, well, it's going to take a little while. Because <laughs> uh, my LR Piccolo is full level 1 links, right? Because I easily could have pulled Piccolo three years ago, or I could have pulled him this world tournament. And this is the world tournament where I finally got my last copy that I needed. Um, so now I have to begin the long process of leveling up his links. Plus, I also have been trying to prioritize LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. Because um, I really expect him to potentially get... A, he probably is the next summonable uh, LR Easy. Well, I don't want to say probably, but he very very well could be the next summonable LR Easy. Um, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku could, right? Oh, and then the, the, the rest of the dialogue is just the same, huh? Yeah, it's not different at all right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish up the grind real fast for Great Saiyan Man and Videl, and then we will uh, continue on. Alright, so the grind is done. Uh, it's really not that bad of a grind. I mean, just grinding the one stage, getting a couple of medals to be able to awaken them and stuff like that. Really, really pretty easy. Um, obviously, I do want to go ahead and put the Rainbow Star on this great Saiyan and Videl unit. Uh, they are, again, going to be pretty solid. Um, now, I'm, probably, I'm not going to do, like, a typical Rainbow video for them, but because this is a unit that I think I am actually going to be using moving forward, uh, I am going to go ahead and get them up to level 10 links. So, uh, I'll do a level 10 links video for them uh, within time, right? They are going to make for a good combo unit uh, on that Defenders of Justice team with a lot of the other, like, you know, pretty solid Great Saiyan Man units we have on there. You know, this new Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. There's a number of characters um, over on that team that are new or a little bit better that's going to help the Videl work really, really well. So let me go ahead and uh, get this guy, you know, fully done, link level and all that stuff, and we will go ahead and do a link level 10 video of him. Uh, let me know how you guys like this uh, great salmon of Videl. Again, I always do enjoy when units come out on both Global and JP at the same time. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you all next time.